Everybody, today is uh, Thursday, the 29th of April, 2010. We had another solid day here uh, in the market today. The uh, 118.50 level has held as support here after a couple tests the last couple day, uh, last two weeks. And those tests have come on real heavy volume, and that has a lot of people concerned. That is that the heavier volume is coming on the sell-off days, and I accidentally uh, put the uh, reference the wrong day. But we had the same thing, if you recall, back here in late March, where we had a couple of heavy volume sell-off days. Uh, those days are, are actually kind of dwarfed now because the average daily volume in the SPY is advancing right now, has been for the last couple weeks. But until we break decisively below 118.50, we want to look at that volume only as a warning sign. Only price pays, and if you're if you're getting bearish before the prices actually break down, you're going to get days like today where you get squeezed pretty hard. And I think that's what would happen here. We had the market gap higher, uh, back above that 120 level. That 120 level has been really uh, a fulcrum point for this market the last two weeks. We gapped above there, pulled back briefly, and uh, look at the one minute time frame. We gapped up, ran a little bit, pulled back got back above that daily VWAP and then held the daily volume weighted average price all, all day as well. So when we look at a 65 minute time frame, this 118.50 to 121.50 has really been the range. We've only spent a couple hours outside that range last Friday and early Monday of this week. But uh, so we're looking at a market that really is in a primary uptrend. It remains innocent till proven guilty. A lot of people are looking for this market to crack. Um, the evidence just isn't there yet. And until it breaks support and right now the uh, most relevant support is 118.50 and holds below there for a half hour or so uh, then you could look for maybe a test of the rising 50-day moving average or the January highs but it doesn't pay to get bearish ahead of that event because you're gonna see that you know markets don't always correct price wise they can correct time wise and that's what we're seeing in this S&P 500 right now so for tomorrow I think that uh, you've got to give the benefit of the continue to give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers overall but as we get up towards the high end of this range that 12150 area you want to start to think that uh, you know you look for evidence that the buyers are slowing down and it continues to be a fantastic environment for individual stock ideas and really that's what your focus ought to be is the individual stocks right now not so much the market because there's just some fantastic uptrends and uh, you know check in at alphatrends.net to see uh, see what those ideas are.